Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you. We are going to be making a pizza or Italian style meatloaf. Oh my gosh. The response from my men, boys in the family was overwhelming when I made this. So I promised all of you on Facebook over a week, about a week ago, that I would make it again, which my boys asked me to anyway, and I would take you along for the ride. Now let me tell you, you can make this any way you need to. Anything that you see me do, feel free to adapt it. It's meatloaf, okay? So you can take away something, you can add something. I'm just gonna show you the basics of the items that I use. The least amount of ingredients that you can use in anything, I always try to go that path. And let me show you right here the secret, in my opinion, to making the most killer meatloafs, regardless of all of this other stuff that you add in. I make a meatloaf with two pounds of meat, and it's, it's just enough to feed my family. I mean, I've got four men to feed, okay? So what I do is one pound of ground beef and one pound of sausage, okay? This is our own grass-fed steer. Nothing in the stores tastes like this. You probably figured that out by now. Nothing in the store tastes like this. So regardless of whatever style meatloaf I make now, whether it's in the Dutch oven, whether it has bacon in it, whether whatever style, these are the meats that I use. I use mild sausage and a regular old ground beef, but I use our own homegrown goods. All the difference in the world. So that's going to be your basis. The rest of the ingredients that you're going to be adding in this is you're going to want to add some pepper and onion and garlic. I will show you how I prepare those. It's very simple. I chop them very fine. In my onion chopper, you've got to have one of these. Fine pieces with garlic and olive oil and I saute them. I'll show you that in a minute. You can use as little or as much as you like. I probably use about a fourth of a cup each. We don't like a lot of um, vegetables and chunkiness in our meatloaf. We like it to be more consistent with the meat. That's our style, but you can change that. You can make big chunks, little chunks, whatever you want. You can use any pepper or style of onion, a uh, variety of onion that you prefer. So that's what's gonna go in there. I will also be adding a couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce, just to let you know that does add a little bit of zest to it. The main thing that you're going to note also is you're going to be adding a lot of your Italian style spices. Think about it. What do you add to spaghetti or pizzas? Your oreganos, your Italian seasonings, your basils, your Parmesan cheese. So what I'm doing, change it up if you need to. I'm going to be adding a little bit of oregano. I'm set that back down. I have Pizza Topper from the Country Cupboard. If you're coming to the Great Appalachian Home Setting Conference, right near us is going to be this. This is the Mennonite store I shop at and get a lot of my spices. This is a mix of just blends. As you can see, it's got uh, Parmesan and stuff in it, but you can, you know, you can grate and put your own Parmesan in there. Then Italian seasonings, anything like that, throw that in there. A little bit of, uh, not salt, I add um, black pepper. I don't add any salt to this recipe. You don't need to. You've got it everywhere else, okay? Anytime you make a meatloaf, some of you might like breadcrumbs, um, you know, whatever. This is what I use. I cheat on a on a day like this. I just gotta whip it up, uh, whipping nay nay. Uh, right here, I'm gonna use a sleeve of crackers, give or take some. I've used Ritz crackers before, and they work really well. As you know, if you've got them, um, breadcrumbs, go for it. Whatever you want. You're also gonna need probably a good cup. Of mozzarella cheese shredded you're gonna want it shredded and you can use your homemade marinara marinara of any sort or your pizza sauce I'm using pizza sauce I'm using pizza sauce at the coffee tour okay so I'll, just to show you real here real quick oh hello look at that whopper is it a double yoker I don't know we'll find out this is a cream leg bar egg but uh, you want to add in an egg anytime you whip up a meatloaf and you want it to bind together with your bread material uh, obviously you're going to use a large egg so I, that, that too don't forget her they'll get upset with me so i'm going to put all this together i'm going to cook this first blend it together and you know honey it ain't cooking if it ain't cooking in large cast iron right my loaf pan remember how you're making all those beautiful breads the ultimate bread recipe ooh la la well, today we're making meatloaf in it. Let's get cooking. It's so crazy easy and simple. We're gonna set the oven at 400 degrees preheat and we're gonna whip it up. All right, guys, sizzle, sizzle. This is my onion, pepper, and minced garlic with a little bit of olive oil. 
all sauteing and seasoning together and infusing flavor together in my lodge, my little eight inch lodge cast iron. So I just want to get them soft and infused and man, you should smell this. So start here, let it cook, and then you can go ahead and start mixing the rest of your ingredients that we talked about. Ha ha, had to come in and show you. So look real quick. I've put in both uh, the pork uh, sausage, my pork or sausage, I put in my ground beef, I put in all the seasonings, the oregano, the Italian seasonings, the Parmesan cheese mix, the pizza topper, Worcestershire, um, some pepper, um, and I threw in some mozzarella, the shredded mozzarella, and look, <laughs> look here, it was a double yoker. My cream leg bar girls, honey, they are just coming on through, so we're going to let that fly. The next thing I'm going to add, finally, is I'm going to add in my crackers. I'm going to blend all that in, and then I'm going to bring over the, the sautéed peppers and onions and garlic and yumminess, and we're just going to mix it all up, and we'll move to getting to the baking step. Move and get into the baking step. I like that. Let's do it. All right, guys, we've got our meat and everything mixed up here. The meats, the, the spices, um, that you can even see some of the cracker in there, all mixed in. Now I've come back with my peppers and onions and garlic that's all been sauteed. I'm gonna mix all this together to make my large loaf. I'm gonna bake this at 400 degrees in my Lodge cast iron loaf pan. Honey, you gotta get one of these. I'm gonna put the link down below. Honey, you need this. And then, after we bake this for about 50 to 60 minutes, depending on what's going on in your area, your elevation, you're going to pull it out of the oven, okay? You're going to pull this out. And yes, I do have parchment paper in the bottom. I do that for my breads and for anything that I bake in this. And for a lot of things. It really helps. I even use it in my um, uh, Dutch ovens. So, it really does help. So, once you bake this, you will see I will pull it out, and then I will then add my pizza sauce or your marinara, and we're going to add that on top with a nice little finishing top of your shredded cheese, which mine is um, mozzarella, but you can use whatever you like, people, and we'll bake it a little bit longer, and you're going to go, oh my word, oh my word. So all my men already in the house are already sniffing around, when will it be ready, mom, because they love this, so let's get it baking. All right, guys, you can see it's out of the oven. I've done several checks on the temperature. We are bake a bake a bake -a. we are ready and I've even poured off some of the fat there's not too much it's not as bad as you think because this is lean lean um, sausage so all you're gonna do and this took this was in 52 minutes and it was almost a hair much you can see of the 52 minutes but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pizza sauce on it's very simple like I said you can use marinara you can use um, just whatever you like. You know, it's it's basically a tomato base. You know, a lot of folks, have, traditionally, we throw on ketchup. Um, this is just adding a little bit more flavor with all of your herbs, okay? The main thing I wanna note to you is having wonderful, wonderful um, sausage mixed in with your meat. So I'm just gonna put that on there. I don't know. Uh, how many tablespoons was that, y'all? Just whatever you think. Go, go. Go slow at first and then add as you need to. And then I'm just going to put, just like pizza, it's a pizza meatloaf. I'm going to put this on there. You know, I'll, too much is never enough, right? My kids are bugging me to death about this. Just want to let you know, it smells incredible. And then, of course, if you want to put basil or just a little bit of seasoning, a little bit more Italian seasoning and whatnot right on top, you know, just to add. It looks really pretty when it's done. I'm gonna put this back in the oven that's still on 400, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. Just enough to basically melt the cheese, okay? And then from there, you're gonna take it out, let it cool, let it set how you want it to, and slice it and dice it and go. It is so delicious. You can eat it with salad, you can eat it with mashed potatoes, asparagus, whatever you desire. I put mine on French bread, a little slice of French bread, and, and they, the kids would slice it on the French bread. You talk about, mm, mm, mm. All right, let's finish this wonderful masterpiece right off. All right, guys, I went ahead and pulled it. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to let it cool and sit. If you hear some rustling around in the background, that's uh, <laughs> two dogs and three kids. <laughs> 
all waiting for this awesome meatloaf. I'm telling you, you need to try this. It's a treat. So don't think, I understand, we have to watch what we eat and we have to modify certain things. So always change up what you need to for what works best for you and your family. But I will tell you, this does feed our family of five, but there's not any leftovers. So you may want to make two of them, okay? All right, Lodge Cast Iron, thank you for your great products. We certainly appreciate it all the time. Y'all check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We'll see you at the great Appalachian Home Setting Conference on May the 6th. It's time to eat. We'll talk to y'all soon. Okay, Sadie. Okay, Sadie.